So picture this, the year is 2021 and there sat a confident Christos checking his portfolio for the 14th time that day, thinking he is the next Warren Buffett. Following that, he then jumps on the camera to talk about how great his investments are, pumps some more money into the market, and then heads to bed for another day of making money. But did that same person, the one who thought that he couldn't miss when it came to his stock picks, think that just one year later, he would be waking up to see his portfolio down by more than 30%, and the only Buffett that he would be compared to is one that you would find at a family get together. Not quite, and neither did most people. But I'm not here to talk on behalf of them. I'm here to come clean on my investment portfolio, how I've been coping during this rough time in the market, and finally, what my outlook is for the future. I know it's been a really rough year for any kind of investor looking to grow their wealth, and I do hope this video will give you some clarity or confidence looking forward to the future. So, Let's get into it. First up, let's talk investing apps. So my portfolio is broken down with four different providers. We have Hargreaves, Lansdowne and Vanguard who have been my ISA choices over the past years. We then have Trading212 who looks after my general investing account. And then finally, we have Coinbase, which of course holds which little crypto I have left. Sign up links to all of these are going to be in the description down below, hashtag not sponsored. Let's now get into what I actually bought. Funds. These take up more than 50% of my entire portfolio and thank God for that because without these, things would definitely be looking a lot uglier. The first fund that I hold is one that is called VUSA and the job for this fund is to essentially track the top 500 companies in America based on their market cap. The value of my shares within this fund currently stands at £18,711, which actually gives me a net positive return of 8.83% on my investment. This is actually the largest holding in my entire portfolio, and I actually plan on adding to this on a weekly basis. Now, the second fund that I hold is one that is called VMID, and this is a tracker of the FTSE 250, which is companies number 101 to 350 on the UK Stock Exchange and the total value in my portfolio with this one currently stands at £5,818 bringing me a small net positive return of 1.97%. Now these are actually the only two funds that I do hold within my portfolio and I know that some ETF purists will probably tell me that I'm not diversified enough but for me owning over 850 stocks split across two of the biggest and best performing economies is more than diverse enough for me in terms of the length that I'm actually planning to invest. Next up is individual stocks. These are the investments that the confident and stubborn side of me likes to invest into. And it's in this section of the video where you're about to see how wrong I was. But first, let's talk about the stock in this section, which has actually been a saving grace for my portfolio. And that's going to be my investment into Apple. This was in fact the first ever investment that I ever made into the stock market. And I did it because I asked my friend for investment advice and he just said, pick your favorite company. As of right now, I currently hold 74 shares in the company, which gives me a current value of £8,771 and a net positive gain of 33.87%. Next up is my investment into Coca-Cola, which is another early bird investment for me in my journey. And it's probably the investment that has held up best during this recent market downturn. In fact, whilst Apple stock has fallen over 22% this year, Coca-Cola has actually gone up close to 7%. This is simply because Coca-Cola is a stock that normally thrives during a recession or tough times. And right now, a recession is the word on everyone's lips. But moving on, my investment value into Coca-Cola currently stands at the value of £2,702 with a net positive return of 19.07%. Next on the list is probably going to be my most controversial investment of the bunch, and that is going to be my investment into Meta, formerly known, of course, as Facebook. And boy, has this one sent me through a roller coaster ride over the past couple of years. Firstly, I had to experience the Cambridge Analytica scandal, where my holdings saw a 20% drop overnight. From there, we had multiple incidents which continued to dent the stock, but the stock still just kept coming back. It then went on a really good run throughout the pandemic, just like 
like most other companies and things started to look really great for the stock but it wasn't until February of this year where it saw its worst ever earnings report which crushed the stock a record 26% in one day and after all the ups and downs the sides to sides and everything else with this company it brings my investment to pretty much break even currently my investment value sits at £1,408 and that then brings me a net negative return of 0.54% since I began investing into Meta. Now I know many will question my investment into Meta for obvious reasons but through all the clouds and smoke I still do see a great company here that is going to have the potential to thrive in the long term future. Moving on to my next holding and one that I'm still actively adding to every single month and that is going to be Disney. The reason why I'm adding to this stock quite a lot right now is because when I started investing into this company one thing that I remember saying is that I don't think I will ever see this stock price below $100 and lo and behold that's kind of happened. Now whilst I'm no investing expert which I'm sure this video is starting to prove one thing that I have always stuck by with my investments is that even if a company was to half in value despite no real reasons behind that just simply a market downturn then I should really still be investing into that company no matter what that value is because essentially I'm able to get that stock for half the price of what I was paying for with no real changes to the business's fundamentals. But just to finish up here my current holdings with Disney currently stands at £3,011 which currently sees me a net negative return of 31.49%. Now I know it does look pretty ugly right now but the one thing that I'm standing by is that as I reduce my average cost price of the shares that I'm buying and the economy is constantly recovering to some extent it's going to be really interesting to see where my investment stands the next time I do one of these updates all right so next up is oh god yeah this one I'll just leave that up there for you. Now to finish my individual stock section, I finally got to talk about the three different growth stocks that I'm investing into from those smaller cap companies. These are of course the companies that are going to get affected most during this recent downturn in the market simply because of where they are within their business journey. But just like all of the other positions in my portfolio, I'm still very, very confident with these businesses for the future. And yeah, like I said, I'm not walking away anytime soon. I'm not leaving. Now to the stocks, these consist of DraftKings, which currently sees me at 58% down of my portfolio, Tattooed Chef, which sees me at 53% down, and then Corsair Gaming, which gives me a net negative return currently of 40.12%. Whilst on paper it does look pretty grim for these companies, I am still holding the faith and I will be holding these companies for the foreseeable future. However, my main investment focus right now is going to be pumping more money into my ETS because that is what is really going to build me my wealth over the long term. During the tough times of the market, I think it's a really wise idea to play to your strengths. And for me, it's always going to be the riskier assets that get put to the back of the pile which kind of brings me to the next part of my portfolio, which is crypto. Now I'm going to be real with you. This is the first time in a long time that I have actually checked my portfolio, really because of two reasons. Number one, I knew that if I was to check it daily with the fluctuations that are going on right now, this isn't exactly great for anyone's mental health. And then number two, as an investor into crypto for more than six years now, I actually invested into crypto before I bought any stocks or shares, believe it or not. I have learned that the daily ups and downs in crypto mean absolutely nothing for the long-term vision of this technology. But after checking just now, my current crypto portfolio, which mainly consists of Ethereum and a really, really small bit of Bitcoin and Shiba Inu, believe it or not. Yeah, let's not get into that. Currently, stands at £2,242 which is pretty insane considering a couple of months back it was almost four times that amount and whilst all the crypto memes will flood in and people will be telling me that it's never going to recover I've been here like I said before in 2017 and I'm not willing to risk selling the little amount that I have just in case it does, let's say, go to the moon. So for me right now, it's the time to keep my head down, stick with my strategy, enjoy this wonderful opportunity that is actually being presented to us within the market right now. And more importantly, learn from this time because this time is going to come around again in the future. I can promise you that. And next time we're going to be better prepared than ever before. In fact, if you wanted to check out some of the best lessons that I have learned in my investing 
investing journey and personal finance journey so far, then why don't you check out this video up here where I read 42 books on personal finance and I share the biggest lessons that I've learned from them all. I'll see you in there.